Hello, I am Paradox Master eighteen nineteen. I'm currently in the something sector, um, null sector. We are going to Vold to meet the resistance, but first we're going to scan this. Oh, 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 oh I know. Scan and find. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. This is episode, for my own memory, 1121. Squeaky chair, must found a new one. Um, episode 21 of Mass Effect Andromeda. Giving myself off track every time. Down towards, what a lovely starscape. You can skip the zooming in, but I kind of like the idea that we're actually travelling very, very fast. In what is basically a metal can in space. Oh look, it's a peanut in space. Literally looks like a peanut. That is very, very strange. Look, they've got the nut on the bottom there, and you've got the one on the top there. M type asteroid. Artificial cones. Few fragments of remnant technology remain. No depends on the part. Perhaps the cat removed the rest. Ooh, uh, Mrs. Robinson. Let us go to the. Oh, I don't know what this one is. This one's the one with the fucking ice planet. <sighs> See, each planet has its own fucked up atmosphere. One is ice, one is radiation, one is fucking acidic plants that kill you. Um, one is heat, and I forgot what the last one is. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. You will not, Callow. You will come down to the fucking ship and you will do as you fucking told. Platinum, element zero, copper, and beryllium. Meet the resistance, trading favours, and the secret project are all on this planet. This is Vold. Orbital distance 14.8 AUs. Orbital period 57.1 years. Radius 8740 kilometres. Atmospheric pressure 1.42 atmospheres. Surface temperature negative 40 degrees Celsius. It's a bit cold! So it's Norway in winter. Analysis. Vold is a world going through an ice age. Once packed with dozens of major urban centres, most of Vold's Angaran population now lives in scattered settlements. The remains of vast ancient cities are still entombed in ice. Alert. Vold is a stronghold of the Ket. Caution advised. I wish to embark. Geronimo! Oh, I've got... Oh, no, hang on. I may need to make my weapons first before I travel down there. Mm. Yes, that may be a good idea. Uh, let's do that instead. I can't because I'm already in the screen to go down. Shit. I don't think I have any more weapons. Hang on. Oh, we're currently using. Oh, God, stop yawning, fuck me. <sighs> I have a cryo gauntlet. 226 melee damage. Krogan hammer. That's what's coming along. Right, shotgun. Do I have any other mods I can use that will increase the damage? Melee penetration, I've already got on there. Uh, shotgun spare ammo. Negative. Right, so I have, what do I have? I have a shotgun, sniper, a assault rifle, what am I missing? Pistol. Probably oh, enough. It's one of the one things I don't usually use. 36 does more damage. Pistol receiver. Select. What am I taking with me? You can go fuck yourself. Double click changes your group. 
Uh, oh, fucking hell. Why am I so tired? Yes, I can make it gold. Because I can. But I like that one and gold fucks up my... Um, two chunker grid. Ah, fuck it. Let's go for the gold one. Because I like to blind my audience. Take her down, Callow. T O P. This planet Habitat Six. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H two O, which are now frozen. I take it that's no longer the case. Duh. All H two O in Habitat Six folds the Angari, is ice, and those oceans frozen over it completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. It wouldn't have been a seaside property anyway, it's too far away from the sun. Or the star, rather. Because only the humans would call the star that they orbit the sun. In the of calling it giant flaming That's a ball. Pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking Gale Force squalls. Gale Force? Really? So it's Scotland. Yeah, that works. Scotland, windy, cold. Scotland, no, England, basically. It's just it's where I live. So. Yeah, but still. Fucking cold. And sunk into the eyes. What the fuck happened to your face? Jesus Christ. Follow the markers. Dude. We're good. We're good. You sure? Want us to get out and push? Very funny, Ryder. I'd like to see Kalo go out there in the cold, considering he is basically a lizard, amphibian, whatever. <gasps> and we're there. Find worlds to evaluate. Sylvie wasn't kidding about the cold. I'm not travelling to Haval. I don't want to travel to Haval, because Haval is full of bastards. Good place for a secret hideout. Snow and ice camouflages everything. Keep going, Ryder. Try not to make any sudden movements. You're probably being watched. It's great. They really mean business, don't they? See, this is the. Oh, iridium. I always wanted to find iridium IRL and make a ring out of it because it has such a lovely blue colour when properly machined and refined. And up. Theater right ahead. I need a minute to frost. Almost at the base now. Make sure you talk to Commander Anyik when you arrive. I should have brought Joel with me. Shit. Hang on a moment. Pistol. What was it? What, was it? what did I want to do? Um change the mission priority, that's what I wanted to do. No, that one. Ah. Uh, channel. We're going to Vold. Meet the resistance. Now the marker is in the right place. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Oh no shit. Where do I go? Up. <gasps> Angara! Yay! I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. I understand. Life support is restored. Thank you. Fucking Sam. Ruining the moment. Hazard level 2. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Good. Just the way I like it. Yes, all the points. That's the sniper rifle. And she's as tough as her Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support is back online. Hi, Drak. Just scanning your weapons for the free XP. Okay. There is a guy around here I should be able to talk to later. 
when I've got the first mission done. But there are also temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. No oh, shit. Life so, support restored. Safe condition is negative thirty. Righty ho. as well. Poof. Ah, 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 found you. All the noms. All the time. I need warmth. Help. Wait, that's not warmth, that's a light. Shit. Even the Adankara, who are completely alien to us, have. Oh, I love you, Hera. I know. Who knows how much time we have? As I said, even the Adankara, a very emotional species. Yes, I'm aware of a dwindling supply of uh, Yes. Very well. Explorer. I'm a pathfinder, motherfucker. Oh, mechanic. I hear you have a very impressive vehicle, yes? We call it the Nomad. I'm an amateur mechanic myself. Build vehicles for my people. Upload this schematic for your mechanic, with my compliments. They can upgrade your vehicle shielding once you find the needed components. He lives for this shit and will make it stay. My long lost brother. <laughs> <laughs> find some of what you need here on Vault. The rest, out and about. Craft the shield generator at a station. I shall do that later. Michelle's dead. You saw the explosion. Yes, Michelle's explosion. She would have known exactly how to protect herself. Oh, look. We have all together. Go back a side mission. Hera for maybe an Eshka. Don't be foolish, Hana. Please be angry, grieve, rage, but please drop this. Look, a side mission. Or at least it is, and it is later. I love the fact I've just collided with that obvious fucking solar lamp, and I'm not burned. Splat. Oh, box. Give me the iron. Oh. Sorry, Drake. Uh. Um, de dum 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 de I was not available. Uh, said available then. <laughs> oh dear, I may now be stuck. Um. Aha! Freedom! Ooh, container. <gasps> Angara and armor. Yes! <laughs> Like it. I know there's a container up here. And I want it. What wants the precious? Okay, there are two thingies over there and there are two over there. So I'm gonna get to these two first because the main mission is that way. Do 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 mine. Thank you very much. Ah yes! Each one of these containers as you go around Vold has a set of armour in it, or at least a piece of armour. So, go round Vold. Concerning the new visitors. Pause the game and read it at your leisure. I keep forgetting that. Da, 
Dum dum dum. Hello. Don't worry. They dealt with me. Asshole. That's no problem. Most of them go and look alike. Ah, <gasps> priestess. Welcome. You are the Pathfinder, yes? I am Rochois Lin. What are these symbols on the wall? Our people worship in private here. And I give the blessings. Would you like one? I'm a bit of a stranger to your faith. A stranger in all things, perhaps. The blessing is offered with simple goodwill. It would be an honor. I give you strength and courage, yet be clear your heart. Yay! How do you become a priestess? With great hardship. Only those who know darkness can lead others to light. I speak weakly words for those who seek them. They take my words to their families, so that they all find the strength I once longed for. That's a, so. Basically, it's a bit like someone who's survived, say, hardship, heartbreak, then telling others how to deal with it. What do you believe? In the never-ending. Anything world, called love? No. A righteous action in this life begets enlightenment in the next. And with that, a stronger dynasty. They believe in reincarnation. And weirdly enough, a later side mission actually shows that the reincarnation is real. <laughs> like, you find, I probably won't remember saying this, but it's really fucking weird. Dun, 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 dun. I'm looking for it. There you are. Comb array. Hmm. Looks like medical supplies. Probably shouldn't. Never with them. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the resistance. Bet they have an officer we can talk to. Do exil. Oh, what a surprise. He's in the other fucking room. Commander Dozio, transcripts are requested. The trust is in your cup. No, the cat base. It's a big ship. Fighter aircraft. Oh dear. Maisie! Leave me be. Oh no, I talked to your associate first, don't I? Pause and do it at your own measure. Sorry, because I have I have a set limit that I do. <laughs> My hand's getting cramped in it. Oh, fuck. Bavor. Mother. I hope you and Lavar, Lavala, are well. Little fellet. Must be a handful by now. Mother, something happened. I sent Arjan. Screen is flickering. That's irritating me. Sent Arjun on a mission and he didn't come back. He's not coming back. His officer tells me he fell protecting his squad. This is my fault. He should have had more training. I'm so text ended. Unsent draft. For some reason that was flickering and I hope it doesn't show on the recording because that hurt my eyes. Oh, it's probably something to do with one of the fucking missions. Yes, what is it? You're that alien I've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Why are you standing here? Shouldn't you be talking to the commander? I've only just realised, and I feel a bit stupid for it, but the Angora are voiced by South African and Australian people. I've only just cogged that. I thought they just modulated a English person's voice just so it sounds funny. But no, that's that's yeah. I'm not sure which question I should answer first. How about none of them? I simply wanted to express my surprise that someone was in my way. The commander said the alien wanted to help, but we needed. Emergency caches, maybe. 
Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. They're restrained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. Of course. Medical cache over here. These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. We have to get them to the caches. Sam, you saving the location data? Of course, Pathfinder. Boom. That's for later. Should vanish and do something else. There we go. There is another side mission. There it is. I think there's a. Hang on. Uh, armor. I'm missing the legs and the helmet. Helmet. No need for that, track. Jesus, you sound like you were. That's loud in my ears, but probably not for everybody else. Should remember that. Going this way. Running, 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 running. Poof. I love doing that so much. I probably shouldn't, but. There is my war. Ooh. You're the alien Jarl brought. A possible asset, he says. We've allowed you into our base at his request. I am Anyik Dozil. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Charming. Be assured that what I do to you will make the stars turn their faces and grow dark. Okay then. Totally understood. Everyone wants the stars to keep shining, right? We're in agreement then. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Go now. I have other things to attend to. Go all. Speak to the lookouts. <gasps> Container. Please have either legs or helmet. Legs. Uh, hello, John. I should be going out there with you. My presence will make other anger suspicious that? of you. I think you guys should chill out a little bit. Chill out. Get it? I don't. Seriously, I know what I'm doing. Trust me. What is wrong with your wrist thing? What you're doing. Sounds good. What is wrong with meantime, that? Is there anything I can help with? Tell me more about Vold. Vold is an important planet for my people. Our capital, Estria, is here. We only recently won it back from the Ket, and the city is still rebuilding. For some reason, the Ket now focus their attentions on this part of Vold. That's why the resistance is set up here. I'd have liked to have gone to the city, to be honest. But, as I've been told many times, this is an exploration game. Even though 30%, if not more, is fetching fucking carry quests. The resistance seems pretty busy here. There must be lots of cat. Yes. The resistance has fought the cat on forward for a very long time. Our fighters are frustrated. No matter how many we kill, there always seems to be more. Oh, the problems of hindsight. I have to get going. We'll catch up later. Stay clear, Pathfinder. Speak to the lookouts. I will do when I find this fucking helmet. Ah, too much talking. Close to the camp. 
Yeah, we'll go to the side That's mission. The planet, with everything on it. You don't win a war without good organization. True. Wonder what all the blinky lights are. Pathfinder, I was told to expect you. Dove your cars, Chief Intelligence Officer. I want to brief you on Vold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. How does the Resistance plan to win this war? We don't have the forces to fight a planet-wide war. Our only hope is a strategic strike. The center of all Ked operations on Vold is across the valley. If we take down their command structure, it will weaken them. At least, that is our hope. Which is basically the same thing you do on every fucking planet. Oh, this is why I decided to stop playing the game for a while, and then I was like, oh, maybe I can make a series out of it. But yeah, basically the same thing you do on every planet is do a few side missions, get the planet up to 70% viability, destroy the Ket base and or invest in or look at relevant remnant structure and then yeah, that's that's about it. Is that a map of Vold? A living map, yes. Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time as we get information from scouts and contacts. Cool. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Techiks, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the Ked have occupied. Yarnik. The bright spots on the map, are those cities? Cities under siege by the Ked, yes. The largest destroyer was our capital. Was? It's hard to think of a city as a capital when it's just a maze of empty streets and burnout buildings. But buildings can be rebuilt. We are more than our cities. Correct. Tell me more about Australia. It's the recent focus of Ked attacks. They think they can break our spirit by tearing down our walls. The Ked learned that we fight to the death, and they would rather we submit. So they destroy our Dara, our homes. They drive us into the cold and expect us to give in. They underestimate the Angora. I agree. Da, da, what? You mentioned the word dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock foundation. A dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angora who live in Dara are combat trained, ready for anything. I guess they need to be. They take pride in defending themselves. But the Ked are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols from the Dara means fewer raids on Ked camps. The Ked know this and use it against us. So a Dar is essentially a town. So you have it uh, in normal sort of IRL. It's hamlet, village, town, city. So a dar is essentially a combination of a town and a village. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Uh no, that's the wrong wrong show. Wrong show. Now I'm looking for Oh, hello. Ah, research data. Oh shit, I haven't been scanning. Shite. Yep, something to think of. Whoa, big planet. Hang on, I'm sure there's a... I'm centre of this planet. Everything revolves around me. Um, literally, in this case. Cat surveillance shift change. Sorry, I don't think she knows. Do they need a replacement? I need to find I don't even want to the helmet or the leg. No, is it the helmet or the legs I've got to find? Oh, desk. There you are. I'll find her. Something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, 
But everything is running fine. I saw the messages sent to you. What are you hiding? Keep your voice down. I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Kent. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. <coughs> I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. Your people deserve to know what's happening. You should tell them. With all due respect, I'm the one keeping this camp together. I know what's best for them. I can't sanction an official I wonder, search, can I walk over? but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. Can I get up there? Because I have a small favour. But either, aha, uh -huh, there's the last one that should have the helmet in it. Shit. I'm not going to stop this episode until I find that fucking helmet. They all say the same thing. The resistance is missing supplies. Just find the helmet. <gasps> Here it is. Decryption successful, Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point. Right. Need to speak to the lookouts, but I also need to find a chest with a helmet in it. Uh, a container with a helmet in it. Fuck! It's going to be around here somewhere. Or at least near here. Please. Try to make a good first impression? Yep, they're staring. But I brought the snacks last time. But I never get care packages from Ayana, do I? You're so good at guilting me, Seek. I need to find this helmet. Temperatures are below now. freezing and continuing to fall. <gasps> Is it in there? God damn it! Checking my inventory. Uh, do I have it all? No, I'm missing the helmet. I need the helmet. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Mm. Life support is back online. Oh good. Be kind of shit if it weren't. Must find the last piece of this. Oh, hang on. I remember now. Come mm, up there. Come on, it's gonna be around there somewhere. Just looking for a helmet. Which is probably in a chest. Yeah, stop. Been there already. Uh, if not, I'll just fucking research and make it myself. It's always nice when you can find it and not have to spend the resources. Um, oh, I'll go around here somewhere. But anyway, let's let's go talk to the scouts. And ah, ah, I didn't walk around here. It's not around there either. Usually, usually, one of the 
Watch this. And warp through things. It's so much fun. Usually. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Thank you. Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Peace Zeke. in the valley. No. I don't want to talk to it. You talk to it. Sorry. Stop it, Beniska. The commander sent word. We knew they were coming. Yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? I want to prove I'm here as an ally. That means fighting Cat. Head in any direction and you'll hit Cat eventually. They're all over Vault. Like rats. Like quirts, but with guns. Quirt. We've heard reports about captured Angara. That wasn't the same labor camp down no, in the valley. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? Right, let's go through all this and then I shall end the episode. What are those red lights down there? That's Hajara, just one of the Dar in the valley. There's people there that might need help if in you haven't checked it out already. Is it difficult to live out here? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. Hmm. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Huh? Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek. Do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Oh. Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. <laughs> yeah, Cute. you behave. We're watching you. Tempest, mm, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating automated forward station deployment. It's bloody bright, that is. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Yeah. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. And with this, I will end it here. I have been Paradox Master 1819. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda. Be nice to your fellow humans. Goodbye.